Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the revolution in surgical robotics. If you look at the last decade and what happened in surgical robotics, you really see evolution. Capital equipment, nothing is mobile, and behind this screen, you're going to see the next generation of surgical robotics, which is definitely not this system. But I'm sure all of you are familiar with the system, a great system, but very, very capital extensive, not mobile, required dedicated staff and a dedicated room, which is not really our vision at Microbot Medical. At Microbot, we believe that the future should be a system that it's not just a robot, but it's a whole procedure. How can we get to a procedure which has a robot, which is not a capital equipment, which is disposable, just like not again this system, but again, great system, capital equipment, they put it on wheels, so you may say that this is mobile, but as we go into the future of robotics, do we really need to have capital equipment? We really want to focus on the fact that we need to allow access to the best practices possible to patients and physicians worldwide, and with our system, I believe that we can really do this except the fact that this is again not our system. Great system, capital equipment, again will, so you may say it's mobile. So if we again take a look at what happened in the market for the past decade, and you look at all these systems, you see evolution. Still capital equipment, very expensive, still the need for services, the need for dedicated room, dedicated staff. And in our perspective, from where we're coming from at Microbot Medical, we really need to move away from it. And that's what we're aiming to do with Liberty. Liberty will change the game. No more capital equipment, a fully disposable robotic system that has the potential to reduce learning curve, democratize and streamline the use of consumable and everything with this system. And I'm sure all of you can agree with me that this is very different than all the system I showed you before. So everybody, welcome to the revolution. Almost all minimally invasive interventional catheterizations require the physical presence of trained medical staff alongside the patient throughout the procedure, exposing them to ionizing radiation and requiring heavy lead protective jackets. Catheterization also requires highly advanced operator skills there's a need for a unique remote robotic system that can democratize cath lab procedures by providing easy setup, intuitive steering and maneuverability, and affordable pricing. Introducing Liberty, the first and only fully disposable affordable robotic system for endovascular procedures with a unique one-and-done approach by Microbot Medical. Liberty is a game changer about the size of a personal device. Affordable, disposable, and remote controlled, it eliminates the need for capital equipment with dedicated cath lab rooms. In addition, it is preloaded with a one-and-done tool that combines guide wire and microcatheter into a single device for outstanding performance. The Liberty robot provides linear, rotational, and tip control of its integrated one-and-done device as well as linear motion for an additional over-the-wire device. With full control over tip curvature and stiffness for superior maneuverability and access, and without the need for constant tool exchanges, the one-and-done device drastically reduces procedure time and costs while enhancing the operator experience. While preventing exposure to ionizing radiation and reducing the need for heavy lead vests, Liberty's intuitive remote controls simplify advanced procedures while shortening the physician's learning curve. Liberty is also ready for telecatheterization carried out remotely by highly trained specialists. Liberty, the next generation in robotic-assisted catheterization for peripheral, coronary, and cerebral vascular procedures. Liberty, the first and only fully disposable robotic system with its integrated one-and-done device for democratizing cath lab procedures by Microbot Medical. If you look back in history, every revolution started with a quest for liberation. We believe that liberty represents the revolution in surgical robotics. 
hence the name liberty. Liberation from capital equipment. As you saw before, great systems, but all of them required massive capital equipment, massive expenditure, dedicated rooms, no more. You saw that system. This is where the future is. Surgical robotics that are fully disposable without a capital equipment. Liberation from radiation. We talk about radiation to the physicians who are there day in and day out taking care of their patients, but how about the patient themselves? If we can streamline the procedure, if we can make them more predictable, then yes, the physician is getting a lot of radiation, but also the patient. Can we get to the point, and that's where we are at Microbot Medical, where procedure will be predictable and will be done outside the radiation room with the physician. Liberation from surgical strain. All of you have been standing here with me for the past 30 minutes. How does it feel? And this nice gentleman, I just gave him the lead vest when he walked in, so I'm sure he doesn't really like me right now. But he's been here for 30 minutes with that vest. Dr. Morag, which we'll meet in a second, he's wearing it for 8 to 10 hours every day. And those physicians are the people that we rely on to give us the best care they can. So they stand in day in and day out, but let's move them out. They can grab a cup of coffee while they're taking care of us, while they're giving us the best procedures possible. And last but not least, we need to look holistically. How can we use the robotic system and utilize them in order to liberate us from multiple consumable? You're going to hear from Dr. Morag that this is pretty much how a table looks like when he's done with a procedure. Five to eight very expensive guide wires and microcatheters. What we're aiming to do at Microbot Medical with Liberty is again look at the whole procedure and with our one and done capabilities, we have the potential to integrate it and allow to do a procedure with less consumables. So everybody, welcome to the revolution. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Eyal Morag to everybody. Dr. Hi, Morag, Ariel. it's good to see you finally Pleasure without the uh, lead yeah. vest. Liberated, liberated. Completely liberated from the lead and the strain. <laughs> but then, finally, the team, everybody's all yours. I'm very excited to be here and uh, share uh, my experience with uh, Liberty. I've been with this team uh, since the inception of this uh, idea. And uh, as you can see, I'm holding in my hands a very uh, intuitive and uh, straightforward um, control panel, uh, controlling the device uh, over on the table. Uh, what we have here on the table is a one-to-one -one model of the um, human abdominal aorta, uh, including all the blood vessels supplying some uh, vital organs. Uh, the, the plastic model here that you're seeing uh, is actually uh, the liver. Uh, this plastic uh, model here is the stomach and uh, these are the vessels supplying these organs. Uh, in addition, we have a vessel supplying the small bowel, which is the SMA. Uh, we have uh, a vessel supplying one kidney and the other kidney on the other side. And uh, both vessels supplying both uh, legs. Uh, in this model here, we inserted a, a guiding catheter um, on the left, in the left common uh, um, iliac, common femoral artery, um, which is w w a routine procedure that we do. And through this guiding catheter that has been advanced into the celiac trunk, which is the main blood vessel supplying the stomach and the spleen, we inserted and um, introduced our system, which includes a guide wire and a microcatheter. And using this uh, very intuitive and straightforward uh, um, um, remote system, uh, I, I basically control both of these components, <coughs> advancing them forward. Uh, in this case, I'm advancing the guide wire through this very tortuous splenic artery, um, and then following, followed by advancement of the microcatheter, as you can see here, over the wire and into this tortuous vessel. I can control this easily and, and advance both of them together. I can pull it back. And I also can control the tip of the guide wire and move it to the left or to the right in order to canalize other tortuous uh, vessels within the system. This makes this procedure uh, very intuitive, uh, straightforward, and will uh, hopefully decrease the learning curve in a very significant way. So um, uh, you know, physicians can use this device in a very straightforward manner.
Thank you, Dr. Morag, for showing this with us. I have a question for you. From your experience, can you plan in advance for how many consumables you're going to use in a procedure? So, you know, we would like to have an idea of how many of these uh, cathodes and wires we use before the procedure. We use our non-invasive methods like CT, MRI, and ultrasound. We're going to plan the procedure and we'll in have these catheters in advance. But in real life, um, we almost always use more catheters and wires than initially planned because the anatomy is obviously is different than uh, what we see in, uh, in the non-invasive imaging and it's a very dynamic process. So we'll end up, as we've seen in this slide, with lots of wires and catheters on the table. That, that's great. And this is only to get to the target before you Just to get to the else. target, that's correct. Yes. Well, thank you for being with us today. Yeah, pleasure. Pleasure. So everybody, thank you and welcome to the revolution. I hope you agree with us that this is really representing a revolution. Enjoy the day. Feel free to walk around the room. If any, any one of you wants to try to be an interventional radiologist for the day, please be my guest as long as I'm not the patient.